A zebra grazes in a field of grass on the African savanna. As it eats, its body digests the grass, absorbing the nutrients it needs to create energy. The zebra needs this energy to survive. It can only get it by eating food, like the grass. The grass, in this example, is a producer because it creates its own energy. Plants, like grass, turn sunlight into energy through a process called photosynthesis. When the zebra eats the grass, the energy passes to the zebra. The zebra is called a consumer because it consumes or uses energy from producers. Consumers are also called heterotrophs or other feeders because they can't make their own food. There are different levels of consumers in a food chain. The zebra is a primary consumer because it gets its energy directly from producers. Primary consumers are usually herbivores who eat plants. Some also eat algae or bacteria. Now a lion comes along and eats the zebra. The lion is a secondary consumer because it eats primary consumers, zebras. Secondary consumers are carnivores that eat herbivores. In this simple food chain, the energy has passed from the sun to the grass, to the zebra, and finally to the lion. Some food chains are more complicated and include even more levels of consumers. Tertiary consumers eat secondary consumers. Tertiary consumers are carnivores that eat other carnivores. Here's an example of a food chain that includes a tertiary consumer. Algae growing in a pond creates energy from sunlight. The algae is a producer. A small fish eats the algae. This fish is a primary consumer. A medium-sized fish eats the small fish. The medium fish is a secondary consumer. A large fish comes along and eats the medium fish. The large fish is a tertiary consumer. If an even larger fish eats the large fish, it would be called a quaternary consumer. Animals at the very top of a food chain are called apex consumers. Examples of apex consumers include sharks, bears, and lions. These different levels of consumers are called trophic levels. However, sometimes it isn't easy to assign an organism to one of these levels. For example, humans are omnivores. We eat plants and meat. Sometimes we're primary consumers and sometimes we're secondary consumers. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Click the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.